So, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and hi everyone. So, my name is Nur and I'm from Arif and I'm from group A4CS1005E. So, in this video, I'm gonna explain uh, about how we want to update our data into database. But somehow, in this system, I already applying CRUD, which is create, read, update and also delete. But no matter what, I will just focus on update only. So this is my login form. Uh, in here you can see uh, I have ID number, password, uh, and also submit button, and also receipt button. So in this, uh, where the user will insert their ID number and password, and then when they click on submit button, uh, the data will be sent and will be checked whether the data insert is the same as uh, when user enter uh, their ID number and also password and then they click on submit button the data that have been insert will be uh, sent to be checked whether it is uh, similar with the data that have been stored in the database so let's see our database so basically this is my uh, database platform so this is the list database that having and this is my database, CRUD. So basically, this is my database. Uh, in this uh, CRUD database, I have only two uh, tables, which is staff and also student. First, let's see the staff table. So in the staff table, as you can see, I have only two columns, which is staff ID and also password. So the next one is the student table. So in the student table, I have only five columns which is ID, name, faculty, program code, and also password. So let's check it out, our source code. So for login uh, form that I show you just now, we have ID number and also the input type of the ID number is text, uh, type of text, and also I name it is, as ID. And for password, the input type is password, and also I name it as password. So this is the submit button and receipt button so to make it functional so i make the php code inside the inside the process.php so i want to make my more functional so i make the php code inside the uh, process.php file so the first one is um my sql underscore connect localhost root and also the password so this first line is telling us about uh, how we want to connect our database so what that what database platform that we are about to connect so this first uh, the localhost is actually for the host name the second one is the username of the uh, of the database host and also the third one is password since my database is localhost root and there is no password available so after that I have to um, call my database so which is database that I have been used is CRUD so here I'm writing mysql underscore select underscore db CRUD then I have the variable so that uh, once the user enter their data so I will fetch data from the form by using the name so let's say here id number the name is id so i'm gonna put here as post function and send it back to the uh, id variable and same it goes to uh, password so as you can see here i'm going to fetch uh, the data i'm using strip lashes so same goes as password and then i'm using mysql real escape string uh, where i fetch my data from the database and then i include the query so which is the result is equal to mysql query select star from stuff means i select all data from the stuff where stuff id equals to id and password equals to password or die field to query database mysql error so die means like uh it display error message if uh, a specific error message if the like connections or some things went wrong uh, in this query so now is second 
is the uh, row equal to my SQL fetch array result, which is um, to make sure that the system is much, is much more secure. So we have to include that staff ID must equals to ID. So these things are where that uh, I mentioned earlier that it will check whether it's same or not. So this is the process here. So if the statement, if this statement staff ID equals to ID and row password is equal to row, if this statement is true, then it will go to the main PHP, our main page. But if not, then the error message will be displayed, which is failed to log in. Let us give it a try. So let's say um, I'm just messing around with my login form and I enter the wrong data. As I said, if I enter the wrong data, it will automatically display the error message which is failed to log in. So now we're entering the, the real data. So submit. Ta da! So, so, as you can see, this is the main page, which is um, as you can see here, there's table list of student. And under here is uh, you can see a form. So, this is the form where you can. Uh, use for save the new data or edit uh, or edit the data that has that have already inside the database so these are uh, in the table student ID name faculty program code and action this data is the data that have been fetched from the database so as you can see I have Imran Hanif Isa Azahra and Zarif Ahmed so you can see here See, it's the same data. So I fetch by using the code, also the same code. So, so let's refer to our. So is this is the coding for our main page? So as you can see here above this, I include the server.php where the process is, and up here I fetch the uh, data from the database and also from the uh, server.php so as you can see here this is our uh, coding for main page and above this i include our server page server.php and below here i just uh, put some uh, php codes uh, in order to fetch the data and so on and under here is html where um, i designed the page and the header and also uh, I went so uh, in here this is where I fetch how I fetch the data so which is uh, I have ID name faculty and pro code so the yellow one is same as um, how I declare inside uh, the table how I declare the column inside the table so I just fetched it and also we include our edit and delete button and below of the page as you, uh, as you can see that I show you just now uh, I include the form so this form uh, have many functions which is we can uh, create new data and also we can uh, edit the data so the server.php here as you can see where uh, it's almost the same like the process.php which is I um, call the database, declare database, but uh, so using the method post, so if the button, uh, save button is clicked, so it will be sent the data inside the, this variable, and I include the query, which is uh, for insert, I have to include the query insert into student ID, name, faculty, and pro codes. And also the values is from the this variable, and then uh, I also include the message which is uh, if this query is successful then the message will display about uh, saying that the, dra uh, the address is saved and it will go back to the main PHP where the new data has been inserted same goes as to update records um, I use my MySQL real escape string uh, and also um, use the SQL 
uh, update student site name equals to name, faculty, faculty, pro code equals to pro code, where ID equals to ID. And also, a message will be displayed if the query is correct, it will be displayed address updated, and also go back to the main PHP where the data has been updated in the database. And it will be shown inside the website. And last one is about the delete records where uh, we include the delete record here. So where uh, the functional of the records is we get the delete button and also uh, the query is delete from student where ID equals to ID because it's a primary key. And once the query is successful, uh, there will be a message uh, saying that address is deleted and also it will go back to the main PHP, our main page. So these are the style that I use to style my uh, main page. So let's give our main page a try. So let's say here uh, in this form, I want to add uh, a new data. So, which is the student 2017-890-3344. So, name is, um, let's say name, we name, a, name the person as Vifash Kazwani. And faculty is from FSG. The program code is as 120. So, we click the save button. See? So here we got uh, the message display as address saved. So here uh, we will show that the data is already have uh, been inserted to the database. So it will be also insert in here because we call and fetch it from database. So we just check it. We refresh. So as you can see here, we already have uh the data that we have been inserted which is if function so and the id is two zero one seven eight nine zero three three four and faculty from fsg and also the program code is as one two zero so it's successful and then we also can delete it so let's say i want to delete the data that i have been inserted just have been inserted so i just click on the delete button. But I'm going to try edit first. So I click on edit. So, yeah. When edit uh, button, uh, I click on edit button, uh, it will display all the information about the student, uh, about the role uh, that I have been clicked the edit button. So let's say I want to change the program code into AS. One, two. So I click on update. There you go. So this is the message that uh, I've been saying like if the query was success, so it will be this same message that address updated. So as you can see, it also changed. So let's see in our database. So as you can see here, the data has been changed. Let's get back to our main page. So let's say I want to delete this column. So I can just uh, click on it, delete. The address has been deleted. So the message will have been popped out. See, the data is not here. So we go back to our database, refresh. See, the info has one is not here. So it all has been successful. So now we gotta look up. So just click on it. Yeah, that's it. So thank you for watching my video.